Hi there, it's Kim Odekoven, also known as Annie's Crafter, and my crafting companion today is... Eli. <laughs> Eli is seven years old, and we are very excited to put this Toss and Score Young Woodworkers together. It's really cool. I think a lot of people... It's like reminiscent of cornhole, but it's also tabletop size, so it makes a really good thing for you to play in your room or on the road or even at a football game. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's up. So as you can see, Eli has dismantled the entire package. I think it's cute that he likes to dig in and throw everything on the table. I do wanna show you that um, Annie's has so lovingly put, actually put in some of the bean bags and they are legitimate bean bags. They are full of beans. So we will enjoy our toss and score. Here's the main component of our toss and score. It has a hole for the bean bags to go in and Eli is all ready to start getting things assembled. All right, here so, we are. So for instructions, we got our first piece that we need. And what's the, this mean? You've got a top and a back. Is there a difference? Yes, there is a difference. This one is more kind of darker, and this one's lighter. Okay, so which one is goes on top then? This side? The lighter color. Okay, so let's. we got that organized. Let's look at number two. What are we going to do? Use the scrap wood hammer five nails to the plot holes along the side of the game board. So along the side of the game board, there seems to be some pilot holes we need to get some nails in there and then we can get them all put on the sure. sides. So I've got my hardware all put out and as you can see these pilot holes here, that's what we're going to put into it. Um, I do put a different piece of wood underneath and then just go ahead and put them in here just a smidge and, and Eli can go ahead and tap, tap, tap those in there so they stay in there. Oh, perfect, oh, not too far. Perfect. So those pilot holes really do make a difference when you're putting stuff together. We'll do this next one, Eli. Go ahead. Perfect. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it under here. And we'll make sure that our hole is at the top of our game board. So we'll just flip this on its side and hold that there. And I will do the holding and Eli will do the hammering. He really enjoys the hammering part. And now we're just repeating with the top rail. Um, we just put these um, nails in the pilot holes and we're lining things up. And I'm holding it and he gets to nail. Good job. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> Let me show you a trick. Oh, you already know the trick. When you have a nail, and thank goodness, Annie always supplies us with extra nails. We can just start on over. So do you know how to use the sandpaper? Mm -hmm. Well, I like to rip it in half because it's just sandpaper. And it's a lot easier for you and I to grab a little square of it. And we just kind of make sure all those dust wood particles, especially on the front, are extra nice and smooth. Do you mind if I join in too? Sure. We have a couple of leftover paint brushes from other Young Woodworker products, so why doesn't mom just help a little bit? Because I love to paint too, right Eli? Yeah. This is a really great color. I love this blue. Let me take this great for game. Uh oh. We didn't protect our surface. See, I can't paint it on mommy's table. That's okay. You can only you can wash paint off. Yes, you can. This is really great washable paint, isn't it? Have you ever gotten it on your clothes before when we're doing wood young mm -hmm. woodworker? Well, sometimes. Well, sometimes. And then I change, so I cook as. <laughs> Very true, Eli. So, we got the, the basic part done. So, we're on the back on step eight. Put the washer on, on the board. 
bullet, put the bullet through the leg, the and nail holes, and the washer, and the washer, and the and the wing nut. Okay, there is. Yep. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Well, there's actually parts to this thing. We have the nut, the wing nut. That's what this one, because it has looks like a wing, right? Because yeah. you see the wings, and then it has the washers, and then actual bolt itself. Perfect. Now turn it into as far as you can. Perfect. All right. Now we just get to do it for the other side. Isn't that neat? All right, let's move this out of the way. And now the fun time is to put the stickers on. You can follow the directions and the picture that's located on the yeah. front of the instructions. And you can put them where you'd like to. If you'd like to change up the game board, that's the best part. Good job, Eli. Now I guess it's time for us to play. part is now you have a game to play that's not an electronic and it was fun to build wasn't it yeah all right thanks again for watching us we'll see you next time bye